types of feeders, you want about uh, 12 to 18 inches per animal. Uh, this bunk is enclosed on one side, so you got to go into the, over the top, which we'll show you in a minute. There's probably about a 10 to 12 inch gap for them to stick their heads in. Uh, this is on the larger barn, which we showed you. Um, very nice, simple. We'll show you a simpler version in just a moment where you have wires and cables and then just straight on the ground. But I'll show you a little of this bunk first. So this bunk comes out to about right there and then you'll drop your feet in here and they could stick their head through there. Here's a better angle on it. And then we have braces every once in a while. Pretty simple. Uh, this one isn't quite a raised. A raised bunk's off the ground like this picture here. Um, so we'll go show you the other bunk. On this bunk in particular, we have two two by sixes coming off the ground. And then it's just the ground here, which is compact. Like I said, two two by sixes. The ground is compact, and then we have a wire about six inches up, another wire six inches up, and then a board to top it off. And this is uh, feeding off the ground. Uh, you just kick it over like this. We'll show you down in a minute. There's a wall here, so they can't kick it too far out. That way you can save as much feed as you want. Um, pretty simple. Works great. The kids can pop through here when they're pretty little, which is all right as long as they get back in. Okay, uh, going down. Like I said, there's this wall here. Wall here, so can't kick it, and that way we can just go by and kick it. Back up. It's pretty simple. Uh, now feeders, um, in case you have less goats, there's, you can build a feeder like this, which is basically a box. So build a box and put a cap on it. Don't put, you can put a bottom if you'd like, but uh, it's just a piece of wood right there going across. And then you can raise it up with two by fours in the corner and put one by going across so the goats can stick their head in and feed. And just use a hog panel as the lid. Um, this works pretty slick. You can also not put a lid on it, just plop a 50 pound bale, little or small bale down there, which will also work that way. You can just cut it and kind of break it up so they can get in. Just make sure their heads can fit through here. And if you see any stuck, get them unstuck because uh, we don't want our livestock stressing, which will make them lose weight. Pretty simple. Works good. And then we'll show you some other feeder designs you can use. Guys, this is another feeder um, that works pretty good. It is uh, metal, as you can see. You simply put the hay in here. And the goats can pull it through. And then it catches down here and you can put it back over. This feeder works great. Uh, you can build one, wood, and just put hog panels here, do whatever you want, make it yours, and uh, try and save as much hay in the bottom as you can to prevent waste. So this feeder is like a V shaped, it's welded, and then you got hog panel in there, if you can see that, for, to, for the hay so the goats and can't just pull it out. Still a little messy. <sighs> works pretty good this one here is a creep feeder for kids and uh, grain so as you can see they just bend over there and eat it and the way they can get into there is the grain sorry the grain drops down from in here which you'll just fill up I don't know how well you can, guys can see in there. It'll just fall down and then you can fill it up. This works and has proven to be pretty good. Uh, for Especially for creep feeders at, when your kids are like two weeks old or so. And then you can start putting on the pounds.